All right, third time's a charm. Sorry to be a little late this morning, but the app crashed uh, the first two times I tried, but here we are. My name is Melissa Ebkin, and I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches in Iliopolis and Nyanic, Illinois. I'm the founder of, of uh, Light Life and Love Ministries. It's an outreach effort uh, from all the churches and from me, and it's the hope that if you don't have a spiritual foundation that these resources will help you. And if you're looking for that community of faith that you can find one here. So also today, I wanna to mention I'm the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. It's a terrific podcast, go check it out. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit off kilter with that frantic start, but here we are. Today I wanna to talk about gratitude. This ends our series of three weeks on gratitude. I hope that you found it helpful and uh, I hope that it's making a difference for you. Keep doing it. If you haven't been, now's a good time to start. Uh, the blog posts that I've been listing beneath the, the live videos in the comments, they have information that isn't always in the live and um, I invite you to check it out. Today I want to talk about affirmations, what they are, why you should be using them, and how to incorporate them into your life. Uh, just a quick little lesson on how our brains work when we go to sleep at night. Uh, there are processes that happen in our brain that kind of sweep up and take out the trash, and those processes function on the principle that what you have been time thinking on is important and the rest has to go. So, if you've been dwelling on negative thoughts about yourself, guess what's going to get hardwired even more? That's why it's important to have affirmations to surround yourself with the thoughts that you want hardwired into your spirit and into your brains. So, affirmations are a great way to do that. Affirmations are positive statements about the ideals that we hold about ourselves that we aspire to. So for instance, and I'm going to get real here, I'm going to get vulnerable and share with you some of the things that I affirm in myself. And I use these when I need to have them present in myself. Uh, if I am feeling particularly low on a day and not making good choices, food-wise, movement-wise, etc., I will tell myself that I make good choices about my health. I make good choices about what to feed my body. I make good cho choices about how to move. And when I say these things, it affirms in me, one, I have the power to choose and I can choose to make a good choice. And two, just saying it inspires me to want to make that choice. Also, when, uh, when I'm just not feeling it spiritually, when I feel that, uh, feel an absence of the higher power more than a presence, I will affirm that God is near me. God is in the very breath I breathe. There is holiness all around me. And when I say these things, I start to lean into them and I experience them. Affirmations are powerful tools. If you don't use them, I really encourage you to begin and find the place of need in your life and write an affirmation about it. An affirmation is the ideal that you aspire to. It's not a statement of lack. It's not a statement of wishing. It's a statement of I am, I have, I do, I can. So make it that ideal that you aspire to. And then surround yourself with the thoughts that you want into your in your brain. Those things that you want hardwired. So for instance, if you want uh, quotes on gratitude, I invite you to go check out the blog post this week because there are several in there. The blog post this week is all about quotes and affirmations. So click on that link. If it's not there yet, it will be there soon in the comments. Some groups have to have approval first. So once the live video is approved to share, then uh, I'll go back and put the uh, link in the comments. So I just wanna share with you three quotes today that I really like about gratitude. The first is from Sarah Bond Breathnock. 
Uh, you simply will not be the same person two months from now after consciously giving thanks each day for the abundance that exists in your life. And you will have set in motion an ancient spiritual law. The more you have and are grateful for, the more will be given to you. Mm. And from David Stendorius, not it's not happiness that makes us grateful. It's gratefulness that makes us happy. And from an oldie but a goodie, Cicero, that ancient Roman poet narrator, gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all others. A lot of things come from gratitude. Gratitude is the best place to start. So I invite you to go check out that blog. There are several other quotes and some affirmations that might be helpful for you. Just take those, use them, incorporate them into your lives. I'm gonna keep it kind of short today. Um, I want to close though by saying a few things that I am grateful for myself. One, I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful that you would spend some time each Monday morning or whenever you encounter this video to, to give me some room and space in your lives. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the technology that makes it possible and for the knowledge to be able to use it. I'm grateful for this day, even though it's cloudy, it's full of possibilities, opportunity, and potential. And I am grateful for a love that transcends all things, that knows and values me and you and each of us. So I'm gonna go take some time and lean into that. I hope you feel blessed this week. I hope gratitude is pouring forth in your lives and I hope you will take the opportunity to make it a habit, to make it an instinct, and to make it a daily part of your routine. That's my wish for you this week. Bye for now, friends.